Hi friends, as promised, I'm going to be reading the sequel to Dragons Love Tacos, which happens to be Dragons Love Tacos 2, the sequel, by Adam Rubin, illustrated by Daniel Salmieri. <clears throat> hey kid, why are all your dragon friends crying? They look so sad. There's a big headline here in the newspaper. It says, no more tacos. World in shock. Emergency supplies depleted. Oh my, we've got to do something about this. Listen to me, dragons, don't freak out. No wonder they're upset. Dragons love tacos. Remember that time we had an awesome taco party with dragons? There were so many tacos, pant loads of tacos, big tacos, little tacos, beef tacos, chicken tacos. And because of a totally honest mistake, I'm not blaming anyone here, there were also some spicy tacos. Unfortunately, spicy salsa gives dragons the tummy troubles. And when dragons get the tummy troubles, well, you know. Do you remember what happened when the dragons got tummy troubles in the first book? This is my one of my favorite illustrations, the pant loads of tacos. <laughs> but now there are no more tacos, none. Nada. Nil. If only we could somehow go back in time to our delicious taco party. Before the spicy salsa, of course. We could save a handful of tacos, plant them in the ground, and grow taco trees so we never run out of tacos again. The dragons would be so happy. Well, I know we're not supposed to mess with it, but this does seem like the perfect opportunity to fire up that time machine in the garage. A time machine. Well, that's one way we can tell this book is fiction because time machines are not real, but it's definitely fun to use in our imagination. A time machine lets you travel through time, back to the past, when you were an itty bitty baby, or forward to the future, when you were grown to be an old man. In our case, back to the taco party full of tacos. You know what? Let's strap into this gizmo and give it a whirl. Set the dial to taco party. <laughs> Let me show you this side. Ready, set. Do you predict the time machine will work? Yes, maybe, or no? Let's see if your prediction's correct. Hey, that's you from before. Weird. Well, there are plenty of tacos here. Let's just grab some and head back before the dragons eat any spicy. Uh-oh, crunch, crunch, crunch. Uh-oh, friends, they ate the tacos and I think those tacos have those little green specks in them. Do you remember what the green specks were? Jalapeno peppers. Oh goodness, friends. On this page, the author has again not written any words, only pictures to show what's happening in the story. I think it happened again. Yikes! I sure hope this time machine still works. Give the dial a little twist. 
We'll have to go a bit further back this time before the dragons eat any spicy salsa. Ready, set, zam. Hmm, we may have gone a bit too far back. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Looks like they went all the way back to caveman times, prehistoric times. <laughs> Who knew they had tacos back then? Hmm. Oh boy, not again. It happened again. This time machine has seen better days. Try some machine oil. That might do the trick. Wait a second, that's not machine oil. This may complicate our journey through space time. Oh, friends, I'm gonna zoom in on this illustration. It says machine oil brand salsa, extra super duper spicy. Definitely not what they were thinking it was. Oh, here's a fun, so, a fun sound word. Zork. Dragons love diapers? That's not right. Let's try again. <laughs> Tacos love dragons? Weird, but closer. One more time. Can you read this power arm word? Zam. They're having trouble getting this just right. Let's see what happens. Dragons love tacos. That's it. Dragons, quick, grab some tacos and let's get out of here before it's too late. Crunch, crunch, crunch. Zam. We made it. Congratulations. Oh, come on. <laughs> you saved one. Phew. We'll plant a tree and have tacos forever. The dragons will be so happy. After all, dragons love diapers. I mean, tacos. Dragons love tacos. Everyone loves tacos. Wow, there's several famous Americans here, friends. Like Abraham Lincoln. See him? There's also, I think, a famous basketball player here. And I even see Chester. Let me show you up close. Even Chester loves tacos. And some more friends here in the back. <laughs> and that's the end of Dragons Love Tacos 2, the sequel. Friends, do tacos grow on trees? Like fruits and vegetables? Yes or no? Let's go back to that page. If I were to plant a taco in the floor, would that give me a taco tree? What do you think? Yes or no? Well, do tacos have seeds? Can we plant those seeds in the ground and sprout a taco tree? As much as that sounds as a wonderful, lovely idea, because it would be pretty awesome to have my own taco tree in my backyard, it is not true. But the idea sounds super, super fun. I hope you enjoyed both of our Dragons Love Tacos books. Definitely a lot of wonderful things to think about. Can you tell your parents or caregivers at home which book did you like better? Did you like Dragons Love Tacos better than Dragons Love Tacos 2? What parts of each book did you like better than the other? Or did you like them both the same? Talk about your opinion at home. Until next time.